Hello and Alola everyone, welcome back to some more Velvet Room Gaming. My name is Helix Rushheart, and welcome back for some more Crash Bandicoot, the insane trilogy for the PS4. In our last episode, we had a long, perilous journey within these fucking levels, including Ripperoo, this cunt muffin. And then finally, we continue forward. Also, unlocking this, by the way, I didn't, I didn't forget to mention, but by getting the key in Sunset Vista, we unlocked this whole hog. Now, we'll be doing that later, while, after I get all the colored gems. So, that being said, let's do our next boss, shall we? Koala Kong. His face looks like Cortex when he's having chemo. Though both could be having chemo right now. This guy took to his steroids. Now don't shake your ass at me. I'm sorry, but I already have a boyfriend. Husband, as I like to call him. My hubby. My hub hub. Ugh. Don't carry that shit. What? You crack ass bitch. Bitch. Ha! Moron. He may be strong, but he better not. He, I bet he lacks intelligence. That's what I'm thinking. Whoa. Whoa. You're a moron. Oh man, I always got blown to smithereens there. Ha! I spinned, moron. Okay, that was death one of this episode. Let's run out and make any more mistakes, shall we? One. Dos. Tres. Now throw that shit at me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I dare ya, I double dare ya. I dare ya, I double dare ya, motherfucker. I, uh, hold on. Joke, uh, just, joke just got ruined. Because I had to plug in my battery charger for my controller. Shit. <sighs> come on, I dare ya, I double dare ya, motherfucker. Throw that rock at me one more goddamn time. I have not seen Pulp Fiction, though I hear that movie's good. I think. Wah! You bitch. You blue waffle bitch. Come here. Come here. I'll shove my large foot up your ass. My mutated marsupial foot up your ass. Come here. Come here. You know, I wonder why he's wearing Cuffs. It doesn't make any sense to me. Why he's in a mine to begin with? My guess is because he's harvesting crystals. I think this is the way it was originated. Why Koala Kong is down in the mine harvesting crystals for Cortex's dumb ass. I swear. I was about to say something really, really derogatory. Oh boy. Wah. Oh man, that was close. That was close, my my boys. Whoa. Throws faster. Harder. Work it. Make it. Do it. Makes us. Harder, better, faster, you're dead. Come on. Boo, you stupid. Thank you. I win. See? Two times a charm. <laughs> beep, beep. A man exploded today after getting hit by a double decker bus. We have live coverage footage. Huh. <laughs> huh. 
That's what's gonna happen. This fucker just got hit by minecart. Anyway, now we have to move on to heavy machinery. Island three. Not my best island to deal with. Can we not? Can we not do this, please? Can I just can I just go home and and just have a happy pie and cake? Can I, can I, can I just have a speed of cake? I want to go watch something off of Nerdy Nummies. Ro, help! Save me with your delectable goodies. I'm oh, sorry. Ah, stupid mechanical junk. Oh, one thing I know I just ruined that jump, but. Look at this. The toxic fluid looks so vivid now. Look at that junk. I swear. You'll hear me say that a lot. Look at that junk. Or, wh or whatever that junk is. Or whatever that... The word junk I, is just... Meh. If I just don't want to desc describe something as a literal thing, I'll call it junk. That's That's been a thing for me. Yeah. Boink. Bonk. Okay. See, we, if we fall down that pit, where those two uh, mini me's are, we got we get an extra brio token in down here. So, in our Tana tokens. So yes, Tana and Brio, you have to go down there for the Tana token anyway. Ow! You bitch. I swear, I will slap you right in the pussy, and you will not like it. Oh, uh, boy. Anyway, yet... I apologize for those who are hearing the most gratuitous derogatory language out of my mouth. But I, I hold no bar. I hold no bars. There is zero filter on my mouth when I game. Because when I'm gaming... You better be ready to hear some colorful commentary because I speak like the devil. Uh, come back, come to me, Beelzebul. Uh. Now, for all purposes aside, like, I should be able, you know, I've been meaning to do this. Since October is coming up, shut up, cat. I don't care. So, like, since, since October is coming up, I'm wondering about playing a horror game alongside the Crash Bandicoot series. You know, because once a day, upload a video and make sure that the quality of my video recording is correct. I know I might die in a video, but I don't have the I don't have the technology to, you know edit out a video like most professionals do. And if I had any editing software, I'd be b uploading a bunch of prints of words saying whatever the junk I have. See, there I go ahead saying junk. One, two, do 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 Da 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 two three four and hello Tana. I guess ta we'll talk about Tana's dress later because I want to. I want some of that bandit pussy. Get back here. I want your bandit cooch. Get your ass back over here. Your sweet bandicoot ass over here, Tana. I swear. Cortex will not evade your privates. Don't, don't read too much into that. That was too explicit. Anyway. Okay. Okay, ready for this? Jump. This way? Okay, we can... I, I swear, Island 3 is going to be the biggest headache in the world. Y just watch. I will, I'll guarantee you... I'll, I'll have an aneurysm by the time I'm done. 
At least Crash 2 was more decent than this. On the original PS1, I would play Crash 2 and be the best there ever was. Catch them with my real test. Train them with my cars. Okay, so that's not bad use of a invisible invisible mask. So we'll go into the Brio level. Now this is not the easiest. I'll show you why. Follow my lead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then stop right here. You have to be vigilant on this second row. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, land it. Uh, you, I always fell off. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh boy. Look at that, six lives all for me. But later, bitch. Oh, Mamacita. I feel so much happier now. Anyway, let's get out of here. I feel like I want to treat myself to some beer. Uh, 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 jump over. The cow jumped over the fucking moon. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on, Crash. Focus. Work with me. Work with me. Should just hit raise and feel the burn. You gotta push. Push. Yeah, you gotta work it. Work that body. Stretch those glutes. Douche. Douche. Any more douche? No more douche. No more douche. 94 lives. No more douche. Bruh. We're out of here. There it goes. Eight crystals. One. No. No crystals. The crystals are not. To, crystals are not a collectible until Crash Two. Eight gems. One key. Forty-eight percent complete. And you know what? I will put forward into making it through Stormy Ascent, and I'll show you what Stormy Ascent is after I beat Crash this entire game. Because Stormy Ascent is gonna be the bitch of the of the game, and including this level, I don't like Cortex Power. Do I have to? Do I have to travel through this place like it's nothing? Like it's no thing? I don't wanna. I shan't. I can't. I shan't even a word. It no. I know it's not. But don't answer that question, cause you, uh, cause that will already ruin the the, the surprise. Of course, you need to fi fix your sign, okay? Because it, it seems to be a bit of a, a bit of a mess. So where's the, so where's the closest Aku Aku? So I can get up in the building here. Or there it is. Let's go. Go again! Come on! Come on! Cheese it! Just completely cheese it! Who? I rocked it! Let's get the hell out of here, cause we can't do anything because we need to come back with the blue gem. And even if we do come back with the blue gem, this level is going to be long. It's a long level, folks. Don't even try. You will not want to live to see the day. But let's get some Wampa Fruit while we're at it. 96 lives. See that 20 out of 42. 
We are just under. We are half. We had. We needed the rest, other half of the box to get that gem. And you know what? We didn't. Ow, my back. Yeah, my, exactly, exactly. Crash. My back. My back. My point. My poor. Ow! I just cracked my back anyway. <laughs> I just cracked my back. It just sucked so hard. Now, I'm not kidding when I say that the third island is a bitch, because it is. And for whatever reason, you may think it's still a bitch. Like, exa example, this level, generator room. You see that orange colored, or orange tinted colored gem right there? The orange gem is the only gem you'll ever find in this game in Crash 1. You'll never see it anywhere else. The orange gem is a one-time deal in Crash 1. Because I don't know. Could they have not had other, any more room in Crash 2 and 3? What was the deal? What was the point? What was the main gist of not putting up with just giving me the orange gem? Because I am I am just... I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> now, the generator room is not that hard of a level. It's just... You have to watch your jumping. Your The pitfalls here are just... Some of the more unbearable shit you have to go through. And watch, I just made a reference to a crash level that no one understands. Get off. Yeah. You stay on that platform too long, it's gonna fall. And forget that, that's a, tra that's a trap. Anyway, now the hit, the, the jump detection for this level may be a bit weird because the level itself is a, a fucking death trap incarnate. Now I actually like the music track. It sound it's it sounds like that one song I heard from Coraline, Mechanical Melody, the the, the opening song. Coraline. Uh, anyway, Tana. Yes. Do 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 do. Let's get out of here. I will rescue you, my girl. This gay person's gonna rescue his girlfriend. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. See, here we go. 99 lives, I would already have a now I would already have a um, trophy called 99 in, on, well it's called Cloud 99 Cloud 99 is a trophy you get by getting all 100 lives well not 100, all 99 lives and I'm sitting here thinking yeah Sounds about right. So, I'm on cloud 99. <laughs> Got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. Epic Rep Files of History. Wayne Gretzky versus Tony Hawk. Begin. Okay, jump. Jenna. Don't know why I'm getting extra lives. I should not be needing any more. <gasps> no! How could I have slipped off that? Oh my god. Re restart. This may be the... This may be the video, folks. This may be the video. And depending on how well the next video go, the next level goes, you understand. 
it's it's us vivid crash players should understand that this is not the most prettiest of all oh my god i'm gonna have a spaz i'm not ready i'm not mentally ready for this island because I have to be honest with you folks, I will have a heart attack soon if I keep this up. Because the generator room just makes me have... Ugh. It gives me that, that cringe feeling. This entire island is a cringe fest. If you don't believe me, other players that's been through this hell and back. Just, just, just ask them. And if you don't understand the concept of going through Crash 1 for the PS1 and then understanding the logic that is The understanding logic of having to die and then of you dying and then restarting the level because you failed to go through the level without dying, that is your damn fault. Because you should have been more careful. Like, I should be the one talking. Because, look at me, I'm dying, uh, I'm losing my lives one by one. I should be going as Coco. I sh I, I'm trying to keep a pattern here. One crashes, one level is Crash, one level is Coco, one is Crash, one is Coco. I'm trying to keep a pattern going here. I swear, if I die one more time, I may just end the video here because I don't want to keep this, this video over a limit I'm trying to go for. Half an hour of, of video footage is what I'm only reaching for. Probably 20 minutes at the most. I mean, Jesus Christ. Cortex, you your fat head. Can I just use your head, your body as a peg to put my golf club, golf ball on and then I can go play some golf. I swear to God. He, no, 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 no. Seriously, Cortex's body is like a peg that you stick, that you go on a golf course and you stick it into the ground and then you say four and you swing it off his fat skull. One, two. One and dos. Jump to the left. Dun, dun. Jump to the right. Dun, dun. Now clap your hands. Dun, 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 dun. That fucking song. <laughs> anyway. Oh my god. I thought... Oh. What? What is with? Okay, that's it. You know what? I'm determined now. I'm determined to beat this level if it fucking means me restarting from point... From beginning to the end. And I swear... It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to happen. I'm going to do it. Cat, don't you fucking look at me like you know what you're doing. Coco, girl, come to me. Come to me, my sweetest friend. Yes, whoever listens to the Goo Goo Dolls, praise you. Ew. You know, there's one song I've actually come to like. Uh, it's called I'm Still Here. Uh, John Shrevelick. Shrevelick. I, I don't know the guy's fucking last name, okay? John whatever the hell his name is. He, it was the song I'm Still Here is one of the main songs you hear off the Disney movie Treasure Planet. Uh, big, big, big 
props to that movie because that actually is one of the more obscure Disney movies, just like Atlantis, A Lost Empire. It's an obscure movie that hardly anyone talks about, but you know what? I will talk about it because it's my favorite Disney movie out of all. But jump. No, do it now, quickly. Oh! I did it. Coco, you sit you keep your fuzzy butt on this beam before I kick your ass. Your laptop will be nothing but scrap metal if you fucking ruin me here today. Jump! Okay. My heart is racing, folks. If I had a heart meter, you would see that I'm stressing myself out. Like, no joke that this is giving me heart palpitations. Oh, I'm gonna have a hernia. Hello, Tana. Bye, sis. Yeah, I get my lives restocked once again, but let's see if I can keep the streak up. Watch, I just jinxed myself right now. Now, it may look like you can just, f if you can fall right into that grit, right, great, right there, but on, in real reality, you can't, because that's technically considered a death fall. Yeah, boy. Oh, by the way, I love those floating platforms because you can see the little waves of sonic energy floating them. Wow. Are those even sound waves that are keeping them? No, that, that's radioactive energy. I have my science all mixed, science all mixed up. My science is not the greatest. I always fell off again. God damn it, Coco. Do not ruin this for me. Fuck you. I will do this correctly. I am a bandicoot. You have to be in the zen. The zen of a bandicoot is absolute. Now, this is the part that just screwed me up earlier. Okay, now, careful. Jump, 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 jump. Okay. There you go, 49 out of 52. I should be able to do this without much hassle now. Because everything from this point is easy as pie. Cat, don't you screw me over now. He's crawling around me, probably attacking bugs that fly around my room, which is like mobs. Though that should be uh, info that none of you guys should be knowing because sometimes. Shut the fuck up, cat. Je Orange gem, thank you. I'm gonna go drink myself to sleep now. Can't get the fuck down from my window. Haha. <laughs> yes. 53%. I'm doing good. Well, except for those mass deaths I was getting. But. You know, who's judging? Who's judging? Who's bonds? Who's bonds is this? You. Boy. Okay. Last level before I end this video. Toxic waste, and it's a fitting level because I don't want to do it. Ugh! You have to get the blue gem in this one, and it's the blue gem that you need to go through Cortex Power. Why? Out of all things, 
is this the level that will give me the most biggest headache in the world? Well, we'll see. I'll show you. There's a reason. First reason, there's toxic waste around you. This is mainly Cortex's main base of operations when it comes to radioactive energy. Next thing are those gangsters that will throw crates. You think I'm joking? Well, there's not crates, they're barrels. But this is not Donkey Kong. This is not DK. This is not the circus that Donkey Kong was born from where he was juggling pineapples. Yeah, if you don't remember that old thing, I think it was Jumpman Circus, I, was, I think it was called. It was this little handheld device. If you don't remember that, if you don't, re if you, the younger generation, don't understand that game at all, you're gonna learn the game. Okay, here's this. Now, I wonder how far along I have to be before the jumping crate, the jumping barrels start happening. Cat, shut up. Shut the fuck up, cat. Don't you dare shit my house. Okay, I'm doing good, but I know that ain't gonna last. Cause I think this is it. Oh shit! I hate these things. The bouncing bar the bouncing barrels are just torture. They're fuel my fire. Huh. Go! Ah, oh, come on, don't die now! Hold on. Can't get the fuck down from there, I swear you will be a pain in my fucking side. Anyway. Yeah, he will just slam it down and it will just. Yeah. And to be honest, we're not that far from the exit. It's just up that last staircase and that sh straight ahead and it should be simple, right? 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 No, not right. Um, pardon me again. My cat's being a complete fuck nugget. Ugh. Sorry for the interruption. Now, where the hell was I? Ah, uh, yes. Hello, Tana. Now, I wish I still had both my Aku Akus with me right now, because. I, this would save me. Okay, I will radiate the. Re, re, I will say this right now. Dying in the bonus level will not count towards your lives, and it will not count to dying in the actual level itself. Why? I don't know. There it goes. There it goes. There she goes again. I'm saying there she goes. Up this last staircase is the final stretch, so let's get on with this, shall we? Oh my god. Cautious I'm, I am. Headache I have. Headache I have. He headache I do has. I will need a beer after this. I'm gonna need one. I swear though, this level is just nothing but hell. No one loves toxic waste or the levels that come after it. It's just so annoying because they get so damn difficult. We all know 
the struggle. We hardcore Crash players know the struggle of, oh my fucking God, get this out of my hair. Get this out of my hair, get it out of my mind. Oh, you're one of me so fine. No. Uh, what's another uh, good, uh, 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 what is it? Freaking Pearl Jam song. Uh, King Jeremy the Wicked. Oh, yeah. Tell me, Spolden. Uh, yes. That's actually a good song, King Jeremy. Uh, the song is called Jeremy from, uh, oh, what was it? Uh, I've just fought the uh, group now. Uh, Pearl Jam. Pearl Jammy Jam. Actually, I wish I still had cash on my hand because I would love to go to the store and get myself some apple jelly. Yeah, jelly for your toast that is, that is made from apples. And it's delicious. Because it tastes like apple, uh, 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 applesauce. That's what it tastes like to me anyway. Now, I have not taken a single hit yet, but let's keep it that way. Oh, we're not, will not last. Fucking cunt muffin over here wants to throw barrels. Hey, DK, stop it. You're making it difficult for me. Has anyone ever played the original Donkey Kong? Like, the original Jumpman Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong Jr. or something like that. Anyone go to an arcade and literally have fun? Me, I will just play Galaga or Pac-Man. Yeah, me playing Pac-Man. Imagine that. That, or Miss Pac-Man, pole position, Dig Dug, either one. The games are fun as, fun as this. Okay, that was close. Take me that. There she goes again. Okay, now, I don't think you can make it through there without bombing yourself, but if you can try getting that jump crate, then kudos to you. But I don't condone taking it the hard way. Okay, go. Doing. Okay. Ha! Eat a dick. Blue gem, I'm out of here. I'm done. This is not. It's not up for debate. Okay, this is not up for debate. Okay, you will not. You will not break me. You will not break me, damn it. You won't. I will survive. I will survive. Freaking Bee Gees. Anyway, uh, we finally reached our next boss, Pinstripe Porteru. After such a long haul of me dying, oh yeah, that would be fun for to watch. Anyway, guys, this will be it for this episode of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot for the Insane Trilogy. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next episode when we take on Pinstripe Porteru, our next boss. Until then, bye-bye.